Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is update day and we are gonna make so much money today. It's not even funny, I'm telling you. I'm gonna be filthy rich by the end of the day. And you might be wondering, why am I here? This is not Varlamor, this is Relica. Well, yeah, you're correct, this is not Varlamor. The reason I'm here is because of this fur. Apparently this fur currently goes for like 25k each. And every time you trap one of these, you get 25k. I don't know, 6 million GP hour money maker. And the reason for this, is because there's gonna be a new item called like uh, the fur pouch or something and you need these furs uh, to upgrade it so despite it saying that it's 3000 gp in the ge like everybody's buying this the update goes live in like few hours from now so i'm just gonna take advantage of this new guy at fur while i can okay let me show you this tab this is an insane tab firstly we have the irrit leaves and swamp tars which i already made like 5 million gp profit by just buying this they're gonna be used on the salamander that's gonna be best in slots the second item is caviar which is used for the new potion i bought this for 150 gp they're currently around 400 gp the tab shows about 50 million gp it's actually more like 100 million gp like look at this la rupia fur it shows 900 gp each but if i sell one right now it should be around 7k or something 12k each like look at that it shows 900 gp this tab that i have gathered like i swear i think i've already made like 50 million gp with this tab alone and varlamor hasn't even come out yet and there is the system update. I'm gonna keep catching these kayaks because I can easily make another 4 million GP while the update is happening and it is finally happening. I've been waiting so long for this. I'm really, really excited. It's gonna be a great day. What an interesting place for a teleport just outside of Varrock, but hey, we're in, baby. Let's go explore Varlamor today. I mean, look at this. It looks absolutely amazing. Every NBC, every object. I absolutely love the design of this place. Okay, and this should be the very first quest completed. Honestly, it was pretty fast, even without the guide, like 15 minutes max. And just like that, let's go to the next one. Okay, and this is quest number two out of three completed for today. This one unlocks Master Deer Hunter Rumors, which we are gonna do later on. And I heard they are very profitable. And the final quest as well. Even without guides, all of this took me like 90 minutes in total, which is honestly not that bad. Okay, time to start farming some content. And oh, okay, I, I got 40,000 Slayer experience as well. That's kind of nice. Okay, let's go. I heard that all of these bosses can be just meleeed. You don't actually need to bring any switches here for magic and ranged. So I'm just gonna test it out with sight and see how it does. Okay, I've been doing this for about 30 minutes now, no loot yet, but let me give you the breakdown on how Perilius Moon works. So all three bosses have two mechanics that you need to look out for, plus they all have a combined mechanic, which is that you have to stand on this circle that glows, otherwise you will take extra damage. The Eclipse boss is super easy. The first mechanic is this ball that you have to stand behind, and if you don't, you take like up to 10 damage. And the second mechanic, you just have to face the Eclipse Moon when it's attacking you. If you don't stand in its direction, again, you take like 10 damage. For the Blood Moon boss, the first mechanic is all these Jaguars here, and you have to attack the one that is glowing so you can heal some HP back. And the other mechanic is just blood, it's raining down from the ceiling and you have to touch it. And finally for the blue moon boss, one of the mechanics is that your weapon gets frozen in this ice chunk and you have to kick it out with your fists. And the other mechanic is that you want to light up these braziers at the side of the rooms while also touching out from the windstorms or you know, whatever they're called. Literally all of these mechanics are super simple to understand and well, yeah, it, it's meant for mid-level accounts, so it makes sense that it's simple. But I'm gonna keep going, I wanna see if I can get some loot from this. Also, I just found out that you don't actually need to bring your own supplies. The ones you get from these caves are absolutely bonkers. Like firstly, you can just drink infinite tea from the campsite and that will always restore your energy to 100%. You can also catch these mods that they restore 22 prayer points, so you don't need prayer potions either. Then you can make your own super combo potions inside here. Just grab some herbal supplies, then use the pestle and mortar on the grubbies you can get from these vines and combine them together and that gives you basically a better version of a super combo potion. And finally there are these fish here that you can catch and cook and I kid you not that they heal for 30 hit points. Absolutely bonkers. And now I have full inventory of supplies that took me like 1 minute to get. By the way, the loot honestly isn't that good here. Like, even with the armor pieces and stuff like that, they're like 1 million GP each. So don't expect to make billions of GP here. It is at the end of the day mid-level content, kinda like Paros. 
I've gotten 25 KC now and I haven't seen any drops yet by the way, just some random herbs and super compost. I'm gonna take a break from this now, I did for about 2 hours and I got basically nothing. So I wanna check out how profitable Hunter is right now. Oh there it is, okay, that's the first Hunter contract completed. You find a rare piece of the creature, you should take it back to Hunter Guild. Okay, nice, let's take it back. And if I turn this in I get, oh, 5k Hunter experience and... What does this loot sack offer us? Is it tradable? No, okay. Let's open it up and okay. I'm not even sure how profitable that is. Let me go sell everything in a G. Okay, so we got about 50k GP, which honestly not that good, but I heard there is one item that is super valuable with the hunter sacks. So I'm gonna try to get that one. Oh, by the way, by the way, side note, another successful merch today. I bought the Venator bow for 59 million GP and I just sold it for 69 million GP, which is nice. And also that's like 10 million GP profit again, because I think people are using it in Colosseum right now. We need some information on unique specimen. Deku Salamander. Okay, Deku Salamander. Those are the new salamanders released today. Let's go hunt them. Oh wow, this literally took me like two minutes. I, I just got here, but okay, okay. I mean, I'll take it. Ah, what do we get from the loot sack? Give me something good. Oh, there it is, there it is. That, that's what I've been looking for, Quetzal feet. That's supposed to be like 500K each. So if I can sell this right now, I made like 500K in five minutes. Ooh, okay, 306K. That's not bad, honestly, for five minutes of work. I have a feeling that's gonna be the money maker with this because I don't think the meat or the fur are that valuable. I think I just found a gold mine. Let me check this out. So making this crossbows is like mad profit. The antelope thing is like 2k each. The crossbow, I don't know, it, it doesn't even sell right now, which means it has to be super cheap to buy. And if you combine the two pieces together, you get 12k each from this, which is, oh my God, that is so much money. I just made like 8k profit in few seconds. Okay, I need to do this way, way more. I need to see if this is actually good or not. Or did I just get lucky? This is an insane money maker. I swear, I'm making these new crossbows right now. And they're like 20 million GP an hour. But you do need the supplies for it. Okay, it doesn't... Oh, oh wait, wait. It just sold. It just sold 10k each. They are selling. They are selling. It just takes time. All you do is use this chisel on the crossbow and the antelope thing and you make like 6 to 8k profit per crossbow. I literally made like 2 million GP in 5 minutes with this method. I don't think it's gonna last forever but hey, you know what, take advantage of this while it does. Okay, I wanna show you one more thing today. By doing all of these activities like the hunter contracts, the perilous moons and so on, I got these bone shards and at first I thought they were useless because I read the wiki and it said they give like 5 experience each. But then I heard that you can sacrifice hundreds of these at a time. So I wanna check it out myself if this is actually good prayer training experience. So first you use the jug of wines on this exposed altar and you get blessed jug of wines. Then you take these blessed wines and your bone shards to this libation bowl and if i click on the bowl i should start gaining afk prayer experience yes there it is look at this man 500 experience drops holy this is okay this is actually pretty good it's gonna be really bonkers for like mid-level players and it's like a really good alternative for chaos altar in the wilderness the only difference is that i think the shards are untradeable in all ways so you actually have to get them yourself by doing hunter contracts and brilliant moon but still, 500 experience, 500, 500, it just keeps going. But yeah, that's about it. I think I made like 100 million GP profit today by just merging some items. The update itself is very mid-level player focused, except the Colosseum. So don't expect to make like tons of money here. But it does have so many cool benefits for all players. So you should definitely try it out yourself. If you want to see more Varlamor content, make sure to subscribe. But that's it from me. I love you all very much. Bye.